Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. We are going to do some videos related to SPSS analysis. This is going to be our first video in the series. So in our first video, we are going to learn about the frequency analysis. Uh, before we jump into the frequency analysis, let's first l have a look at the data that we have here. Uh, this is the variable view of um, our SPSS data. You can see that we have seven variables, uh, age, gender, health, treatment, dosage, status, and time. Now, these are the name of these variables. Now, the column over here, label, it explains what exactly is included in that particular variable. Now it's it's very it's very convenient for you later on if you enter the values over here. All you need to do is simply click over here and type whatever explanation you want to give to the variable. Uh, the next thing that we have here is values. Uh, it simply means that what do these value mean? For example, if I click in here, you can see that zero means male. And if you enter one, it would be designated for females. Same is the case for some other variables that we have here, like we have this health. One is poor, two is fair, three is good. If you look at the treatment, it's new drug or existing drug. Then we have dosage. Zero means low dosage and one means high dosage. Then finally, we have uh, the status. Zero means that it's um, censored and one, take an effect. It means that the drug is making an effect on the patient or not. And the third one that we have here is about time. Now, time is about the time of effect, okay? So there are diff the, all of these variables that we have here are of different types. If you look at the first one, it's scale because age is a continuous variable. Uh, then we have nominal. Nominal variables are ones which are only categories or labels of the categories, but uh, they, they are not in any particular order. Like we can see that we have two different categories, male and female, none of these are in order of any sort. Then we have dosage. Uh, if you look at dosage, it, it's, it's ordinal. It means like you are categorizing them in terms of their value also, not just naming them. So that makes an ordinal variable. And then again, we have status, like, you know, censored of, or taken effect. Again, there is nothing higher, nothing lower here. It's just two categories. One, the category of patients that have had effect, and two, uh, that the patients who have not shown any effect in terms of the dosage that were given to them. So this is our data. And now we are going to look into the data view. Now you can see that we have different values in the data set over here. All right. So the first analysis that we're going to perform with this data will be related to frequencies. Now, what is frequencies? We're going to talk about it. Let's look into the data first that how do, do we perform this particular analysis. Click on this tab, Analyze. If you look at this tab here, Analyze, it has several options that we can go through. But first, we'll work on descriptive statistics. From the descriptive statistics, you need to click on frequencies. Now, the important point related to frequencies is that you can, although you can perform it on the variables that have scale as well, it's, it's not a good idea to include these variables in the frequency. If you want to have the descriptive statistics related to the variables with scale, uh, choose descriptive analysis. We are going to do that in a while, but right now we are just going to select the variables that are nominal or ordinal. So I'm selecting all of these ordinal and nominal values. 
clicked here then I'll click on statistics now I'll have a look at the mean value the median value mode and uh, I'll also have a look at the skewness and kurtosis standard deviation minimum and maximum values range and so on and this is all what I'll have and I'll click continue here now we'll come back to it later on uh, we can even construct some charts related to them but not now we'll do that later on so it's just simple as that click okay and the SPSS would do the processing and would show you the output so I guess this is where I have my output yes it is here now this frequency table is showing us some results like you know we have 200 of the valid observations in this data then with respect to gender it gives us that mean is 0 0.51 so uh, for for the male the value was 0 and for the female the value was 1 so what do you think the value of 0 0.5 represents uh, the value 0 0.5 represents that uh, the sample is almost 51% females and 49% males we'll have a look at that later as well now mode is one it means that we have more of females and less of the males in this data uh, our skewness is minus 0 0.21 and kurtosis is plus 2 all right and these are the other frequency statistics that we have here let's move on these are the frequency statistics now this would give us even a better view you can have have a look at it here 49.5 percent male 50 percent female and then we have the general health condition 14 percent poor health 40.5 percent fair and 45.5 percent good health and so on now we need to report this information as the first table within our results section we don't just copy paste these tables into our data we create a composite kind of a table where each of the value is shown in its respective position i'll show a sample show you a sample reporting here this is one of my papers which I was writing and I can show you how we report the frequencies. Now if you look at this, this is my results section and I have started with descriptive analysis of the demographics. So the demographics are generally the variables that we have either in nominal or in ordinal fashion and that's what we can cover within the frequencies you can see the, how it's been reported the frequency and the percentage that how many male were there and how many females there were there and so on uh, this table has been made in APA style so you can see this is how the APA style table should be made APA 6th edition style now this is how it goes now you, whatever your data is you can also prepare a similar frequency table related to the demographics and have it included in your SPSS reporting section related to the results all right so this is all for the frequencies and the scales that we have covered today in the next video we will be talking about descriptives related to the continuous variable